completing a table of values on the old and the new style Casio calculators. Complete the table of values for the equation y equals x squared minus x minus 2. Now on the old calculator first I'm going to press the menu key and then I'm going to select option 3 which is table mode. On your screen it should now say f of x is equal to and we're going to type in the x I'm going to have to press the alpha key first and then the x key. Then I'm going to use the x squared button and then the minus key and then I need another x and then I'm going to subtract 2. When I press the equals button, the very newest model will say g of x is equal to it. It gives you the opportunity to enter a second function. I don't need that here, so I'm just going to press equals again, and I get on to the range of values that I need to put in. Now, the start value is the smallest value of x on your table. I'm going to press negative 2 and then press equals. The end value is the last value of x on my table, so I'm going to press 3 and press equals. The step is what the x values are going up in, so the step is 1. You can see it then draws the table for me. It's got it the other way up than the table on my page, but that doesn't matter. So next to minus 2, I've got 4, so I'm going to write that into the table. The next value I've got minus 1 goes with 0, so I'm going to write 0 in the table. The next value is minus 2, that's already on my table, so I'm quite happy, it seems to be matching up. So I'm quite confident then that it all worked out okay. Now onto the new calculator, the method is slightly different. We start by pressing the home key and then using the arrow keys to go across the table and then press execute. You can see I've been taken straight into the table this time, but it's blank and it says f of x, none. So we need to type in the function somehow, and to do that we press the tools button here, which has got three dots on it. And you can see it says table range. I'm gonna select that first. So the start value, again, is minus two. And I'm gonna press execute, that takes me down one row, and I'm gonna type in three, which is the last value on my table. Again, I'm going up in steps of one, so I'm gonna press execute again, and then I'm gonna press the execute key. Okay, you can see it's filled in the x values now for me. I now need to fill in the function so it will calculate the y values for me too. So I'm going to press the tools key again and I'm going to go down and I'm going to select define f of x stroke g of x. So I'm going to press f of x and I'm going to type in the function. You can see the x is written above the zero key. I need to press the shift key to access it. And then I'm going to press the square button, then minus x. So I'm going to press the shift key and the zero key again to get my second x and then minus two. Once I press the execute button, you can see it's calculated all the same values as I had before. Subscribe to Mr. Tomkins EdTech for more useful calculator videos.